Oh boy. All right, gang. Here we go. I am finally, for the first time ever, going to play Amnesia The Dark Descent. The classic is finally coming to my channel. I'm a bit nervous, but I'm also excited. I know nothing about this game. I know you play somebody called Daniel and you're in a castle. That's it. I'm going into this completely blind. So let's check this stuff real quick. Vertical sync, yes please. All right, start new game. Oh dear God. Normal. The way the game was designed to be played. Oh, well then, <laughs> who am I to argue with the developers? Yeah, let's start. Oh boy. Oh God. Here we go. Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Ah, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... is... I am Daniel. Oh, that didn't sound good. Oh. A memento has been added to the journal for quick access to your mementos. Press M. Make sure to check these whenever you get stuck. Alright, well, let's check. Follow the liquid trail and find its source. Okay. The pink stuff is the liquid trail. Mixed in with a little blood. Alright, Daniel. Let's just have a look-see around. A little wibbly-wobbly. Okay. I have watched um, some of the Let's Players that I am subscribed to play the second Amnesia with Tossi. So I think I'm a little familiar with some of the mechanics in this game because of that one. Picked up tinderbox. Tinderboxes are used to light candles and other light sources in the environment. Okay. I think I'm okay. I don't think I need to light that. This is going to be one of those games I pick up tinder boxes. I'm going to be nervous to use them. And by the end of the game, I'm going to have like a full inventory of tinder boxes. <laughs> okay, well, the trail goes that way. But. So it seems we've had a bit of a cave in. Anything on the ground? I'm not gonna light you. Ooh. I kind of got that inner glow that Tossie had. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Come on, Daniel. I know the trail goes in there, but can we do anything with this? No. Oh. Okay. No. No, we cannot do anything with that. Oh boy, let's keep going. Okay. Oh boy. Tend 
center box. One of, one of the other things I do know about this game is, and this is what makes me particularly particularly nervous about this game, is you cannot fight the enemies. <laughs> you have to either run or hide. Well, this is a nice little room. Warm myself up by the fire. I'm grabbing an object, press right mouse to throw it. Oh, oh. oops. Okay, well, eh. Yeah, yeah, well, that was satisfying. Well, the sound design already is awesome. Can I get in there? you up? I can't. Can I? Come here. Ah. Uh, no? Okay. Ooh, Daniel, honey. Lay off the booze. Oh, wow. We are just tilting. Okay, I'm not gonna light that. I think we have decent light. the Dutch angle. Ooh. Ooh, I didn't like that. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. If anybody wants to know what vertigo feels like, that that was a pretty decent representation. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. So what is this supposed to be? It almost looks like pink luminol. Taking a look around. What do I have? There we go. All is good, my health. Sanity crystal clear. Oh, I don't think that's gonna be the case. Okay. Is there anything in here? I don't want to waste my. room where something bad's gonna happen. Okay, let's just leave. How about that? We're just gonna leave. It's okay. We're good. How about we just... Yeah. I don't need none of that sass. It's okay, dude. Deep breaths. Get, get in the light. Get you some vitamin D, Daniel. Can we go back here? Looks like we can. Beware when standing in the darkness, your sanity will slowly drain. 
Well, I'm just asking for it, aren't I? Ooh. Old archives. I... I guess we're done in here. Let's go. The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought and struck his victim with a rock. Oh boy. Rainy Hall, that's where we were. Witnessing unsettling events will reduce your sanity. It can be increased by completing puzzles and making progress. Oh, this looks like a fun room. Are those hissing cockroaches? Can I... Can you smash them? Oh, they're gone. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Is anything up on the shelves? Okay, Daniel, we're gonna have to do this. Okay, okay, let's go. We're going, buddy. It's okay. It is okay. Here's some light. We're following the trail. This is turning out to be a fun time. You have picked up the lantern. When filled with oil, it can be turned on by pressing F. Okay. Anything to do with these books? Oh, 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 oh. Tinderbox. Just checking my corners. doesn't look fun. Um, oh, yes, 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 yes. Good, we're good. Okay, is that a door up ahead? It is, okay. Ooh. Can we not open this one? Oh. Okay. No 
can't read. I'm not going to light that. Oh! Thank you. Okay, well, the trail goes in there. Can we open? Will that give us more light, you think? I don't know. Nice. this? No. Okay. Alright, here we go. This is where the trail leads. What is this? Picked up oil. The lantern drains oil when it is turned on. To add more oil to the lantern, double click on the oil item in the inventory. Okay. So what is this? 19th of August, oh. 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Okay, so we have chosen to forget, and we need to kill Alexander, and the shadow. Is the shadow the red stuff? <laughs> um, let's have a quick look around, I don't want to waste my oil. Anything guiding? So what did we drink? Oh! What is this? Oh! Uh, okay. No! Entrance hall. The door slammed shut behind him, and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. Alright, main hall. Oh. This is a pretty, pretty big main hall. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the, what did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Huh. Well, it kind of sounded like 
we were in cahoots with Alexander. It sounded like we were at least on good terms with him. And now we're having to kill him. Okay, clearly we found something out. What is this? Refinery. Should I open it? Oh. Okay, well, let's just close that. <laughs> it didn't look good. That's where a blood trail leads. What's down here? Oil? Tinderbox? Yes, please. Can we pry these off? No. Why hissing cockroaches? Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to see if I could hit him. No. Damn it. Yes, yes, yes. Let's just move this stuff out of the way in case I have to end up running at some point. Oh. Right. Okay. We are not collecting $200 as we try and pass go. That's fine. I'll just go back in here. Thing hanging out below the stairs. What's down here? Wine cellar. Laboratory. Okay, let me get a good idea of what's around here and then we'll choose a door to go through. Okay, well, I've already made plans. You're going to have to hold on. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, wait. It won't budge. Oh, okay. I thought the hand came up with the planks. What is that heavy breathing? Like library, maybe? Archives. Archives. It's down here. Oh. Oh. Okay, wait, so what is my... A slight headache. Okay, so we've got the archives, the laboratory, and the wine cellar. I don't think I want to go in the wine cellar. Let's try the laboratory. The laboratory. That kind of sounded like where the scream came from anyway. Alright. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden, in fear she too would be punished. Okay, 
worry about it. Throwing things around is not such a bad idea. Okay. We're not going to step on that grate. I don't think... Haha. -ha. What is this? Chemical relocation. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Okay. So... Four different chemicals are needed to continue. Daniel, honey! Do you mind? Okay. Um... Okay, so, so the chemicals we need to make this powerful acid are in the wine cellar. Okay, oh, you know what? Okay, just in case, let's be prepared. <sighs> Baby crying in the background is always unnerving. That's unnerving. Oh. Uh, there should be more Kubrak. Let me see, let me see. And one part aqua force. Okay, are those two of the chemicals? Aqua fortis and Kubrat? Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh. Picked up chemistry pot. Okay. Early alchemy experiment. This is my third attempt to produce artificial phyta. Oh, that was in the second one. The former compounds lacked the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are given and the cuprit binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia, regia 
instead of aqua fortis and hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an al alchemic solution to my predicament. Okay. Oh. Hello, I see you in there. Anything in here? What the hell is this? Do I have a crouch? I do. Oh. One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. So was Alexander trying to bring somebody back? Chemistry jar, did this go somewhere over here, you think? So we need to get the four chemicals, which apparently are in the wine cellar. And then we can uh, be little chemists. Cool. Get out of here. go to the wine cellar. Oh boy. I do not have a good feeling about the wine cellar. And I'm especially nervous about the fact that there haven't been... Traveling to Dover meant going through Canterbury. He had made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with neglect of family. But I'm also a little concerned that I have not come across any enemies yet. was the wine cellar, right? Yeah. It's locked and it will not open without a key. Okay, so now we have to find a key. Well, we had a few other places we could explore up here. So... Let's go down this way. Okay, when, well, when I say few, I mean one. Archives. What is it? A fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought, just like the ones at the consulate in Constantinople. What was that? Ooh, I don't like this background noise. This I I don't know if you can call it music, but I don't like it. It's like this It's like this distorted humming. You guys are everywhere. Okay. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. 
Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was caught oh, tomorrow. Shit. I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Let's try that. Okay, where did we leave off? Sorry, my finger hit the mouse button. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to the London and the British Museum. Okay. Sorry about that take my finger off the mouse button when Daniel speaks. Lesson learned. Tin Hanan. Was, it, was that in the second one? Sissing cockroaches are awfully sassy. I don't like it. It's dark in here. Oh, I don't like that you're open. Go away. Yeah. Amazing. There you go. right to me. Back it up. Wilhelm's contract. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenberg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenberg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. Wilhelm House of Garrick? Okay. Okay, that's where I just was. Study. Uh-huh. No, thank you. No, thank you. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. 
the twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is Algeria where Tossi and them crashed? history. What's down this way? What? Why? Okay. Yeah, that kind of droning humming, moaning. Oh, okay. Okay. I know. Okay. I got where I am. That's, that's kind of going off in the background. That's really kind of unnerving. Okay. You know what? We're going to live it alone. I'm not going to, I'm not going to play it because that might alert something. I really don't like the fact that I haven't seen a monster yet. Would you look at that timing? Just throw yourself out of the window, Daniel. Can we like this? Oh, you can. I don't think I want to. Okay, you know what? Let's just... Daniel, you're going to have to deal with the dark for a minute, honey. You're just going to come up here. Oh, God. We're just gonna hang out with the cockroaches. It's fine. Ooh. I mean, why not? Maybe I'll get a map. Okay, let's, uh, you know, let's just do that. How about that? How do you like that? Oh, I see you. Oh. Much of the castle. 
castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Okay, so sounds like whatever Alexander had planned, one, he knew the shadow was a thing and was gonna be an issue. And two, we sound like we were kind of on board. That is some bullshit, you need to stop it right now. So clearly I'm assuming we became privy to something Have we time traveled? Because we're leaving notes for ourselves. Or, I don't know. <laughs> Brava! That was a lovely... Fragile, but not breakable by hand. Okay. Maps. Oh boy. We could just... I'm sure we could pull those down and just crawl out, but... Central Prussia? Kingdom of Prussia. Desk. Note. Oh lord. No, no. Daniel, get up. 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry but I managed to push myself toward the oh enchanting God. light. Oh wow, it doesn't want me to look away, but is there something behind me? Okay, no, there's nothing behind me. Let's go. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Oh God. <laughs> Oh, yeah, let's just touch the ball of light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Right. You come with me. Okay, how am I supposed to get through that stone wall? Wait. Oh, that was just the drawer handle. Somebody keeps playing a piano. Oh. Okay. Well. Um. Hey. Holy crap. Amazing. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Dan. Okay. 
Okay. What is... Okay. There's some sort of secret door mechanism in the local history room. Is that... I'm assuming that's where we're at. <gasps> a draft and a faint light are coming from behind the shelf. There must be a way in. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. It won't open, it's locked. Oh, is that, okay, that was the noise it made in the, uh, Go away. Okay, I can't. Awesome. Oh, you know what? Let's just do this. Aha! Local folklore. Altstadt in Brunnenberg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Altstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brunnenberg. The quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is, a picturesque, is as picturesque as it can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks, dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa? Is it Agrippa or Agrippa? The well-known erudite visited Altstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for rem remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron The Baron of Brennenberg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Altstadt, and like most of those of noble birth, rumors have are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so... Any more interesting looking books? There's one. Okay, wait. So we got one. Looks like something that was in the Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. Okay, so we got one. We got two. Down there, three. Let's 
see if we can, how many there are. Okay, it appears there's only three. So two on this side. Oh! Oof! Sweet. Look, a key. Okay, before I pick that up, let's look around because I feel like that's going to set something off picking it up. Regarding closing of the wine cellar. Oh, is that the wine cellar key? Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the force and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will, will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I'll feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both my problems. Okay, so Wilhelm signed a three-year contract of, like, servitude... And then him and his men were being naughty. So Alexander locked them up in the wine cellar. Well, isn't that just dandy? What a, what a guy, this Alexander. Okay, nothing. Okay, so let's pick up the key. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. We're going. Is it gone? I don't want to go. Okay, well, you know what? I think this is a perfect note to end the first video of my first ever playthrough of Amnesia The Dark Descent. Oh boy, all right. Uh, as far as like the notes and the lore and everything, it's a lot to unpack. I am very curious and excited to see what is up. But you all, I hope you enjoyed it. Always feel free to leave a comment, a like, a dislike, subscribe, share the video. It is all, all very much appreciated. And we will pick back up at a later date. We will, we will find our courage and make our way to the wine cellar where, where I'm sure nothing but good things happened. So until that time, you all take care and I will see you then. Bye.